Today I thought we'd take the time to talk about Dead or Alive 6 and its, you know, monetization practices. I mean, it's not like there's any other crazy, huge, important thing that I should be talking about today, right? Nevertheless, let's kind of just hop right into it. So earlier, Angry Joe did a live stream where he was playing Dead or Alive 6 and in it, towards the end, and uh, he also uploaded this to YouTube as well, uh, he was talking about the DLC practices and how he de definitely disapproves of the Seasons Pass and, um, you know, its price methods and things like that. But he did, you know, commend the game for having a free option and being able to buy characters as you go, things like that. But he went to the Steam page, checked the DLC, and checked how much it would cost to buy everything, and in total, the amount of DLC in the game is $364.71, so $364.71, which is definitely a lot. Now, the thing to keep in mind about that is I don't think he realized that... Um, that was including everything together, so if you buy the season pass, you get everything, right? Which is $92.99 at the time of writing, which is a absurd amount to pay for a season pass, to be sure. But, um, when you actually take a look at the content, you know, so like the, um, the two wedding, uh, two wedding packs that come with wedding outfits for all the characters, those are 20 bucks each. Um, then there's all the additional characters, because if you play the free version of the game, you have to buy the characters individually, and each character is four bucks. So, you know, all the characters are four bucks, um, the story mode key as well, so if you have the fighters, uh, or excuse me, the core fighters version of the game, that's how you buy the story mode. And then, separate DLC packs that have all the characters in them, so you have, like, all the individual characters, then bundles with all the characters, you can buy all the females, all the males, and then all the characters. In a bundle so that's why the DLC is so looking so stacked if you own the game you get access to all the characters so the DLC individual character buys and the packs and stuff won't matter and the only thing out right now um, for the season pass content is gonna be those two wedding uh, wedding packs for 40 bucks um, so that's that's it is definitely a little bit exaggerated but still definitely crazy uh, I, I do think that their monetization in this game is a little overboard it's definitely still better than dead or alive 5's monetization and i'm i'm saying this uh we're, we're talking specifically just the monetization because i do think that um i do think that um you know i do think that dead or alive f uh, 6 is a much much better game than Dead or Alive 5, just in, in, in every aspect, everything in the world, and especially now that all the, all the patches are coming out, the uh, game is getting just much, much, much better, and I still really like the game and hope that it continues to uh, grow and continues to, 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 you know, do decently enough and have a player base, because it is great, but the same can be said, though, monetization-wise for Dead or Alive 5. So, Dead or Alive 5 had $1,289.79 worth of DLC. That is including the same things, which is individual character purchases, um, yeah, individual character purchases, bundles for everything, seasons passes. It's just bundling everything together. The amount of DLC is not actually a thousand something dollars, but it is still extravagant. Now, I don't think any game should have that much DLC, but I also think that we should definitely keep things, um, I, let's say consistent. Uh, when a game has loot boxes and randomized systems, the amount of money you can spend to get a single item in that is. In nearly infinite, especially in games that have duplicates, you know, you can spend upwards of a thousand dollars and never get the one thing that you, you know, actually wanted to get. I think that's much worse than having a store where you can see clearly what you're buying and have the option to pay for it. Do I think Dead or Alive should be charging 20 bucks for costume packs? No, but a free-to-play game like Dead or Alive charges $20 for costume packs and it's the end of the world. Fortnite charges you know, free-to-play game charges 20 bucks for one single costume, and suddenly that's okay. I just think we should be a little bit more consistent with it. Do I, I still don't think it's okay, so I really don't want the takeaway here to be, oh, Fizz is justifying, you know, Dead or Alive, you know, crazy DLC, because I'm really not. I actually, the, the DLC is super off-putting, and is one of the reasons why I'm not really playing this game as much as I would have wanted to, because I still think Dead or Alive's gameplay is the best of all of the 3D fighters that are out on the market right now. I, I truly think that. But there's a lot behind the scenes, especially since they launched this game in such a rough, like, 
I would say unfinished. This game was super unfinished to launch. There was so much that needed to be patched in and uh, you know supported, but this DLC, guys, we got to keep this energy. You know, you know, we got to keep this energy intact because being able to you know see what you're getting and pay for it is a million times better than random chances and loot boxes and all this other stuff that's going on with all these other games. Um, so that, that that's pretty much my 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 two cents on this matter. My thoughts on the monetization with Dead or Alive 6. Um, it's just, man, it's just one of those things. It's really rocking a hard place. And again, I really gotta, gotta state this. I am not standing up for uh, Koei and... Uh, you know, Team Ninja and, you know, everything that they're doing with the DLC in this game, because I, I do think it's absolute bullshit. But it's just, I don't think it's as bad as everyone says it is. And this game has so much other, you know, so much different problems in it that need to be addressed and fixed and talked about. But, you know, people are just focusing on two aspects. Whenever Dead or Alive 6 comes up, you get, oh, they don't have the OMG boob physics anymore, or you get the season's pass is 100 bucks. Like, there is no other discussion going on about this game and I think that there's other things we should be talking about that are much more important I I'm personally not going to buy any of the costume DLC um, the only things that I would want you know be interested in purchasing of course were, would be characters which will be released individually so I'm not buying the season pass and maybe um, if they release some extra music tracks from like classic that are live games a lot of the old music's already in the game but there's some that are missing so I, w I would totally be down to buy some old music um, things like that and then of course characters so that that's pretty much it maybe stages if they sell those separately I'm not exactly sure what their plans are with stages but like that kind of stuff I'd be interested in and being able to go to the store and buy what I want is great any game that does that I think should be at least acknowledged um, because that, that's a good it's a good thing to do that not every game does um, a lot of games don't. That's actually, I would say that having a store where you can buy what you want is definitely not the norm, uh, and I think it should be. You know, uh, especially because this game does have, so, you know, the DLC is all costumes. This game already has plenty of costumes. Granted, the method to unlock them is the, the worst it's ever been, but I'm, I'm just trying to give some credit where credit's due here. The game does have free unlockable costumes. Uh, a lot of them are really good looking, a lot of them are really sexy, so if you're into that whole fan service -y garbage, you know, then you can have that, you know, have your cake and eat it too, with the free costumes. And then, of course, having a free option helps as well, helps keep the player base up, you can buy what characters you want, so people like me who only play literally two characters, I probably should have just waited for the free version to come out, and then bought Ayane and Hitomi. But, you know, hindsight, <laughs> hindsight's always 20-20. I just really wanted to talk about this since I watched Angry Joe's video and I was like, look, I, I don't think the conversation about this game and its, and its monetization is really healthy right now and I think we should be talking about it. So that's pretty much everything for me. It's much of a more ranty style video than normal. So let me know what you guys think about Dead or Alive and its marketing and its microtransactions and its costumes and all of it. Just let me know what you guys think. Um, you guys know where I stand on the matter. So. Let me know what you guys have to say, and I'll see you guys in the next one. We're going to be doing some Smash stuff soon, I promise. <laughs> Maybe even a live stream today when Joker comes out. We'll see. But uh, take it easy. See ya.